Welcome to our final video tutorial about conducting pilot experiments to gather data for sizing industrial scale systems. In this last episode, we will present in detail the backpulse function that was introduced in the CIP episode. In production, transmembrane pressure, or TMP, is a driving force that allows the permeate to pass through the membrane despite the natural resistance to do so. Resistance to permeate flow is a combination of the inherent resistance of the membrane and the additional resistance caused by the fouling layer. When this additional resistance is too high, permeate flux decreases. It can be compensated by increasing the TMP but will often work only for a short period of time before you'll need to clean the membranes. Another method is to apply a back pulse, meaning a short period of TMP inversion where the permeation will occur in reverse. Back pulsing removes part of the resistance due to fouling and therefore restores permeation flux performances without cleaning. CIP frequency can be greatly optimized by incorporating back pulsing. One needs to take some precaution before back pulsing to prevent damage to the membrane. As you can see, overall membrane resistance is a combination of the active layer membrane resistance and the support resistance. Active layer resistance to flux is much higher than support layer resistance, as the material is much denser at the active layer. For this reason, the active layer is kept as thin as possible. In normal conditions, flow first passes through this dense active layer, and then easily flows through the support. During a back pulse, it is the opposite. If the back pulse is not used properly, you can damage the bonding between the active layer and the support layer and lose the active layer altogether. One should take a few precautions when performing a back pulse. Only perform a back pulse with compatible membranes that can resist the counter pressure used in the procedure. Always perform a back pulse within the recommended limits of use. Finally, discuss it with our filtration specialist before applying back pulse. They will guide you in creating the correct protocol to evaluate back pulse efficiency. Depending on the product filtered, back pulsing can either have a non-noticeable or very significant impact. Novacep has a large range of Keracep membranes that are back pulse compatible and of pilot units for rent and purchase with back pulse options. Thank you for joining us in this video tutorial series. We wish you much success with your cross-pole filtration pilot trials.